Carmen opens outside a cigar factory in Seville where soldiers look after and at the girls who work there. The most alluring one is the free-spirited gypsy Carmen who sings of love. A rebellious bird that cannot be tamed. She warns, if you fall in love with me, watch out. She flirts with Corporal Don Jose, a good soldier who loves his mother and FaceTimes with her every weekend. Carmen's charms overwhelm him, and also he wasn't listening to the words she was singing. They were in French, and he's Spanish, but... Well, anyway, Carmen gets into a fight with a co-worker, probably over a yogurt somebody left in the office fridge, and she's arrested. But Carmen persuades Don Jose to let her escape. Act one ends with Carmen free and Don Jose under arrest. Two months later, it's act two. Uh, in the opera, the intermissions at the Met only seem to be two months long. Carmen and her gypsy friends are at a tavern, and in comes the great bullfighter, the Toreador Escamillo, singing one of the most famous songs in opera. Toreador, Angarde, Toreador, Toreador. The words are along the lines of, I kill bulls and women love me, except women who are members of PETA. Escamillo flirts with Carmen, who rebuffs him for the moment. The tavern is then closed for the meeting of a smuggling ring. They recruit the girls to help them. And then Don Jose shows up, still in love with Carmen and now jealous because Carmen danced for his superior, Lieutenant Zuniga. The bugle calls Don Jose back to the barracks, but Carmen says, if you love me, you'll join me and the smugglers. Zuniga appears and Don Jose attacks him in a jealous rage. The smugglers disarm Zuniga and poor Don Jose has no choice but to go AWOL and join them. This opera is fun for everybody sometime, but almost never for Don Jose. Act three is in the smuggler's mountain hideout, where Carmen and the girls are playing cards to tell their fortunes. Again and again, Carmen's cards foretell nothing but death. This is why when you go camping, the only card game you should bring is Uno. And that's not product placement either, although we tried. The Toreador Escamillo appears. What kind of a hideout is this? He's looking for Carmen. He and jealous Don Jose get into a fight. The smugglers separate them and everybody checks their email and it turns out Escamillo's invited them all to his next bullfight. And Don Jose learns he has to go home to visit his dying mother. But he warns Carmen that he will see her again and he doesn't sound nice when he says it. Act four is outside the bullring and there's Escamillo with Carmen on his arm. Her friends warn her Don Jose is lurking in the crowd. He finds Carmen and begs her to join him to start a new life together. But she says she doesn't love him and will live free as she wishes or die. Inside the bullring, Escamillo kills the wild untamed bull. And outside the ring, Don Jose stabs the life out of the wild untamable Carmen. Carmen is a great opera. It contains all we expect in the art form. Incredible music, a colorful setting, handsome men, a beautiful young woman, and her inevitable death. Everything except a happy ending. And that's Carmen in three minutes. <laughs>